What's up, Kerbal Knots? This is Noel on PC, head of the Experimental Research Division here at the KSP. And today we are definitely experimenting with some research. All right, we are going to get little Jeb out of the cockpit. <laughs> said cock. There we go, and... Okay, okay, I hope that doesn't come back around. Oh god, oh god. Okay, good. <laughs> All right, we have built a flying ring. I don't know why. I just, you know, I started building, and then I realized this might work. So we're going to try it. Oh god, don't hit those. <sighs> okay. <laughs> just about hit our asteroid museum. That would have been catastrophic. I don't actually know if this is going to work. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> Let me take a sip of coffee. Got a frog in my throat this morning. Okay. I'm not 100% sure if this is going to work. I just finished building it. But I mean, it looks like it's going to work. It's got lots of elevators and rudders. It's got the solar panels, uh, basically just to keep SAS working, right? I should turn that on, SAS, RCS, just out of habit. Okay. One. Two, three. Oh god, oh god, straight up. Oh god, I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. <laughs> uh, I know what we can do. If we dump quite a bit of the fuel out of these, let's do 3.978, 3 3.9. Seven, eight. There we go. Just check the other ones. Check. And check. What? What is that? Why does that say four? And this... Oh, that says four now. It rounded up. Good. Okay. <laughs> uh, thanks, game. Thanks, game. All right. So this this will boost for a little less. And that, Well, I guess we could have just taken a little bit of the boost off the bottom ones. And that would have made it maybe go straight instead of just burning for less time. Either way, we're going to figure this out. We're going to get this thing into flight and we're going to see what it can do. Oh my god, why did I do that? Can I just can I just make the jump? Whew. Okay, and just like last time, it's going to take this. It's taking a much smoother trajectory this time. That was kind of what I had in mind. Look at that thing go. I was going to switch to it, but no, it's it's way out of range. Look at that thing go. It's like a little rocket. It's like a little missile. Pew. Went almost a kilometer. Awesome. Okay. Uno, dos, tres. Turn off. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, okay, okay. You got this. You got this. You got this. You got this. Oh my god, it's flying. Oh my god, it's flying. <laughs> it doesn't fly well. I'll tell you that much. It really does not fly well. But... <laughs> but it actually does fly. It has so much lift that it wants to... It actually does want to accelerate and fly. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Okay. Whew. Let's do a fly by the tower. <laughs> this shit's hilarious. I did not actually expect this to work. I expected it to glide a little bit and then just, you know, inevitably just plummet to the ground in a hellfire. But no, it actually, it actually works with absolutely no motors. It's just all a, a glitchy balance of lift. And I guess a lot of my thrust is coming from the ailerons. Like if I do this, if I'm pitching up, down, up, down, you can see it's actually accelerating because the ailerons are almost like flapping their way through the atmosphere. <laughs> um, how are we gonna land? I didn't. I didn't think of that. I didn't. I didn't think of that. And now that we're basically just gaining speed, every time I make a turn, we're accelerating more and more. So my my probability of uh, certain demise is increasing. Yeah, every time I make a turn, every time I try and <laughs> course correct. This thing just dogs out a bunch of speed. I'm trying to shed a bunch of speed. I'm trying to see, can I get the speed down to like 
if I could get the speed down to like 10 or 15 meters per second, I might be able to just sort of like a hang glider, just sort of stall it out and just sort of flap it onto the grass. But that's, that's never how it works. What's going to happen is a fiery hellfire, an explosion. Okay. I think that's about as much speed as we can shed. Fuck it, I'm just going to keep going this way. I don't I don't want to turn. I don't want to land this thing near the Kerbal Spaceport. I just want to land it. So we are going to go this way. And we're going to let the rescue party come and rescue us. How you doing, Jeb? You doing good, bud? Oh, he loves this. He's a four-star pilot, so he's just... He gets a little woody doing this kind of stuff. I was trying to descend, but that wasn't really much of a descent. That's better. All right. Of course, we're doing this sketchy nighttime landing. Well, not sorry, not in the nighttime, but we have no shadow. So it's sort of a midday. All right. So we're not gaining any height, we're not losing any height. We're just shedding speed, which we have mega speed. I'd really like to see a shadow. This is gonna be a really difficult landing with the sun like that. Oh, there it is, way over there. Hanging out. Oh God. Oh God. Oh Jesus. Oh Jesus. I wonder what Jesus is called in Kerbin. Probably like, Jesus? Kerbal Christ? All right, we got a little, we're leaning back just a little bit, which is helping shed the speed. And that's not really equating to a lot of altitude. Actually, it seems to be in a really nice holding pattern, so this is actually doing really a good job of shedding the speed. But we've got so much speed to shed. Look how fast we're going. If we tried to touch down, kaboom. He might actually survive because he's sitting on enough stuff that'll slow it down as long as I can keep the stuff hitting the ground to just keep slowing him down. Maybe get into some kind of a weird bounce. I could probably help him survive. He is precious cargo. He is very, very precious cargo. Oh my god, the speed is just not going down as fast as I'd like it. Um, what could I do? What could I do? Now that's really going to help me, because then I can't steer. Yeah, I guess nothing. I guess that's the moral of the story here, is I can't really do anything. All we can do is just keep leaning back. Oh shit, <laughs> it starts. Oh, it still flies. Wouldn't you know it. Okay, here we go. Here we go, I'm in a big upward stall position and that just shed a shit ton of speed. Oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God. Whatever's about to happen, it's happening. Oh no. Oh no. Yep. Nope. Yep. Nope. Yep. Nope. Horseshoes. We're playing horseshoes. So what's going to happen here? Oh, did he survive? <laughs> uh, just like I was hoping for. If enough of the stuff on the bottom destroyed off and shed enough speed, we, he might survive. And sure enough, he survived. Okay. <laughs> Whew. I did not want to have to start with a new pilot. Jeb is kind of a, kind of a hero here at the Kerbal Space Program, and I wasn't looking forward to resurrecting him from the grave. All right, guys, I hope you liked the video. I hope the O-ring inspires you to try and make your own O-ring. I don't encourage it. It's not that fun. But see if you can put wheels on it. See if you can actually make one of these things fly. That shit would be hilarious. All right, guys, until next time, peace, love, cheers.